And now, your live Doppler 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, the sun has set and we've gone from spring back to winter. As that's been the case all this winter, 32 degrees right now outside. That's about 20 degrees cooler than we were this time yesterday. Our winds are gusting still right around 10 miles per hour. We've had gusts as high as 38 miles per hour. Now notice the visibility here. Nine miles. No, our visibility might be reduced a little bit because we have some snow showers in the area, a little bit of flurry activity, and with the wind whipping those around, you might want to be careful if you have to drive out there tonight. 31 right now in Monticello, 30 in Logansport and Rochester. Down into the 20s we are in Morocco, 29. And that's the trend of the temperatures for the rest of the night. They will continue to fall as this big time cold front that brought severe weather to our area continues to push on to the east. And here's that uh, snow shower and flurry activity into the northwest part of the state. That's going to kind of continue to meander off to the east along with the front. But what a sharp cutoff there is with the dry air. So we expect clearing throughout the night. And Futurecast again doing an excellent job of picking that up. There are those snow showers and flurries. And we clear it out by tomorrow morning. Here again, 9 p.m. We'll stick with that chance for maybe a few flurries or snow showers. Visibilities may be reduced because we're going to have some pretty strong winds northwest 20 to 25 miles per hour. We're going to keep dropping those temperatures 21 by midnight. The winds will start to calm down just a little bit, but still gusty out there. And our low tonight in Lafayette, 16 degrees here in Lafayette. And we might see cooler temperatures up to the north, 13 in Morocco, 13 in Winnemac, 16 degrees for the low for you in Frankfurt. Now, future cast tomorrow morning, you can see we're going to stay clear for the most day uh, for the most part of Wednesday, and it's going to be a nice day, just a little chilly, but seasonable that is. And we're going to see another system that's going to work in by Thursday. Here's here here's kind of the hint of it as it starts to move in from the west. We might see a few snow showers out of that one, but off to the west, you notice a lot of cloud cover here in Kansas and Nebraska. Another storm system is going to start to develop, and that one will be a little bit stronger, and that could bring us a chance for a wintry mix, maybe even some accumulating snow. We're going to really track that one pretty well because it does have a chance to bring a big impact to our area. 16 degrees the low tonight. Winds out of the northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour. Again, we're going to be clearing throughout the night. The winds will start to subside a little bit, so it'll be a little bit calmer tomorrow. More seasonable. 30 degrees will be the high tomorrow, and we're going to be under mostly sunny skies. And it's not going to last for long, guys. You know, we, we're going to cool down again back into the mid-20s on Thursday. We'll have a low of 9 degrees on Friday morning. And then the warm-up happens again, which has been the trend all winter. So if you, you, know, if you get easily dizzy, that, this is not something you want to stare at because I'm telling you guys, this is up and down, up and down. 34 on Saturday morning, 45 on Sunday, and back into the 50s, Jeff and Mike. Look at that. 50 on Monday. Well, this winter has made me dizzy for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Me too. <laughs> yeah, but at least these cold snaps don't last very long. Yeah, you know, winter likes to, and when it comes in, it comes in hard. You know, we'll get single digits and then it just kind of leaves. Yeah, all right, Jesse. Have a great evening and yeah. we'll.